wake up. Do it. Before I put on my makeup, makeup. I say a little. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm stupid. I'm stupider. That's, yeah, let's that's see. back here. There you go. And you can follow Instagram and Twitter. Juicy, juicy, juicy content. content. It's so juicy. It's so juicy. It comes in packets now. What, the juice? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I was just squirting the packets in their eyes. Ooh. Into their chai. Gross. Stasty. And today we are reacting to a little video. Mm. This is called Why Parenting India is So Unique. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, Comedic, I assume? No, I think it's like a like information. A legit yeah, info video? like inf info video. So once again, we do a bunch of these. But if any information in here is incorrect, we did not. Make not this. our fault. We did not make this. We're reacting. <laughs> we are not creating this. We are reacting to it. Yes. So if the information is incorrect, you can yell yell in the comments. Just I'll not at, at us. Yeah, not at us. That's yell at the video. Yeah. It was a dumb video. I don't know. But this got recommended. Unless to we us. agree with something, but then you can yell at us. I, I'm guessing this is why I'm more like. Why parenting in India is different than other places, I, I which would makes sense, and yeah. I believe. I believe too. Um, we've heard many things about that. Honestly, it's probably. I guess it's depending on who you're, uh, like who you're comparing it to, uh, and if it's modern or if it's uh, old school India parenting. Right. Um, right. And it's different now. It's cultural, regional. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a little video. Cool. Here we go. Let's see. With 25 million babies born each year, holy, that's wow. a lot of sex. million annually in the U.S. It's easy to see that India knows a thing or two about parenting. Or, or, or not using birth control. <laughs> raise all those kids? Well, first off, there's the virtue of kindness and patience. One of the biggest things Indian parents try to teach their kids is kindness. Little boys and girls are encouraged to be modest and nice to everything around them. From strangers on the street to the smallest bugs they find in the yard. That's true. Indians believe Most, that every I mean, living thing on the world deserves and, Until they're old enough to have a YouTube respect. account and, and an Instagram account that can comment patience. on videos. That's true. And that Showing goes out the window. Showing negative emotions and irritability is considered a big vice here. The patient man will rule the world is the motto Indian parents teach their kids to live by. Controlled information. What do you That's remember watching on TV when you were young? A cat and mouse trying to yes. outsmart each other? Yes. Well, Indian parents wouldn't be too happy about that. These sorts of borderline violent or silly cartoons. Borderline violent? No, that show was violent. Kids. Really violent. <laughs> Indian children usually watch programs about art show. and education. Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes. You won't see little kids favorites. glued to tablets either. People in India firmly believe that the internet can be dangerous for children and even That's true. Kids in America, especially now, have a lot of screens in front of them. Manners first. Indian parents are irresponsible and rude Manners behavior. Are... Kids can't just throw a major tantrum and slam the door like a boss. Well, they can't win at that Unless age. they want to be grounded for months on end. Family you don't ground somebody either. in diapers. <laughs> Every child is taught to be respectful to their family members. And parents try to do everything they can to make the bond between siblings unbreakable. They're also very particular about table etiquette. Maybe toddlers can play with their food, but at 10, you'll definitely get in well, trouble. Well, we know they it. don't want you After smelling all, your food. Manners make it mad. Eating your right? non with rice. They eat with their hands, though. In Setting many reasons, a good yes. example. But not all. How can a child be kind, a white respectful, baby. and independent if their parents are rude and irresponsible? Indian parents are sure that their habits today are their children's future traits. That's why they don't That's lecture their little ones, but try to show them how everything's done by their own example. Plus, in India, several families often live under one roof, so older generations never That's hesitate like to show their grandchildren the ropes. Yeah. style. Which is not the case here. Correct. Strong child-parent bond. Space is a privilege in India, so not that many children get their own room to themselves. Indian moms also believe in attachment parenting, so they try to spend every single minute that they can with their newborns. 
Indian doctors even recommend new moms sleep with their babies. Of course, it's pretty convenient. If your baby is anxious, wants to eat, or needs a yeah, always scared me. I know, me you can too. just handle the problem right then and there. This kind of co-sleeping usually ends when a kid turns six or seven years six. old. Six. And this time together is believed to that strengthen old. the bond. I'm, I'm with you. My eyes got large. Leland's already in his own room. <laughs> Dose of independence. Indian children usually start to work from a young age. Boys tend to Good. work in the fields and help with the animals while girls do chores and take care of their younger siblings. Indian parents or want work. their kids to become independent and if girls responsible want to work, as soon as possible. Yeah, they be so no yeah. one is allowed to lie on the couch with a bag of chips and watch cartoons all day long. Why? Of course, Amazing. parents don't just leave their children to deal with the challenge all by themselves. They're always there in case their little one needs help. Because they're their parents. The importance of education. That's, yeah. Every parent wants their child to be the best, yep. and Indian moms and dads are no different. They pay close attention to their kids' academic achievements and try to help them as much as they can along the way. Indian parents want their children to be successful more than anything. Yep. And what can open more doors for you than a good education, right? So strict playtime and study time rules are no surprise in an Indian They're household. Strict. And, Schooling. believe it or not, children often thank their parents later for teaching them the value of self-discipline. Isn't that normal, though? As a kid, you don't know why. Spirituality lessons. For many Indian people, spirituality is a huge part of life. It's what their parents taught them, what their school encouraged, and the essence of who they are. From a very young age, kids know their family rituals and take part in them, slowly exploring this side of life. Indian parents believe that introducing their kids to spirituality right away helps them discover themselves oh, and figure cool. out the world around them. Well, that's one way to do it. Financial control. When it comes to money, Indian parents are anything but laid back. No, you don't need this. What is your yearly and salary? No, you don't need that either. <laughs> the logic behind this rule is very simple. Indian parents want their children to know the value of money from Do a Indian very early parents age. give allowances very so, often? So, even if a kid gets some pocket oh, money, it's strictly controlled, and they know they can't just splurge on that cool Pokemon t-shirt. It's a pretty tough tactic, huh. but it seems to be working all right. Indian children grow up understanding that they have to work hard to achieve financial stability. However, Indian parents also tend to pick their kids' career path before they even start talking. Of course, as you can imagine, this can like cause that. some tension, especially if the child wants to do something else. But in India, family is everything, so parents and kids find a common ground one way or another. What? The influence of school. It always works out. <laughs> school for the first time. It's a big day for the whole family. And Indian schools do a There's great no job at keeping all the things that parents have taught their and kids. And no matter what the difference is, the, the families level. always work it they out. They true. tolerance and push kids to uncover their true potential. There's no concept of a favorite student here. Every child receives tremendous support and approval. The main task the school has for you is to better yourself every single obviously, day. These are broad Teachers show kids that their main competition not is themselves, <laughs> not somebody else. Yeah. And your parents are always there to catch you if you fall. Right, because you know, every parent is supportive. teaching valuable life lessons? That's pretty awesome indeed. And what's the most important thing your parents taught you? Let's discuss it down mm. in the comments. Don't Let's discuss it right now, Rick. What's the most important thing your parents taught you? How to properly zip up your zipper to not to not yeah wee wee. I did that once in my life, <laughs> and that's all it took. That's the most important lesson. Yeah, my, my dad did it on purpose. He said, "Come here, son." I said, "What, dad?" He said, "Take off your pants." I said, "Really?" He said, "Yes." I took them off. He said, "Now put them back on, but don't zip them up." I did, and then he took the zipper and went. Pst. I said, "Ow!" He said, "Remember that." I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'd I'd say it's. I don't know if it's something they taught me, but it's because like I do have that question. How often are allowances given out? Yeah, to Indian children, because obviously here in America they are done sometimes. Not with my parents. Not with mine <laughs> or with my kids. My kids didn't get an allowance. Yeah, I didn't get an allowance. No, and I won't give Leland an allowance. Yeah. Um, but I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I don't they, have a problem with it at because all. Because one, if they right when I be when they, if I needed something, obviously they bought it for me. Right. Not if I wanted something. Very different. <laughs>
<laughs> that was very uh, different. Christmas or birthday. Yeah. But uh, it, when you get old enough to where you're like, I want to go out with my friends, they're like, get a job. Right. I had a job by the age of 14. Want a car? Yep. Yeah. That's get a, a job. That's an Ashley and Alexis. It was, you want a car? Great. Yeah. Buy it. Go work on it. Yep. Yep. And they did. Yeah. And I think it, 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 it definitely helped. And I feel like that's more how India probably is. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, it's because I know a lot of Indian families are very, you know, like they said, financially, like they, they yeah. know, they control their money and they know where it's coming from. And it obviously depends on what your economic status yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Um, but yeah, I feel that's how it probably is mostly in India. Cause it, I think it teaches kids to, you know, work for you, what you, what you want. Yeah. Well, obviously when you get out of the house, you're going to have to work for whatever. <laughs> yeah, it does. And it does because it's such a communal setting for the majority of Indians because you're living in a, a house of six, seven, eight people most of the time where it's all family members together. Is that the average? I don't know if that's the average, but I know that that's really common. I think a household... Parents, their parents. And their and the brothers and sisters of the parents. So oh. like, like, like in Indrani's house, huh. she grew up with her mother and dad and her mother and father's siblings and their kids. In the same house? In the same house. Wow. So her cousins, she refers to as brother and sister, brother and sister yeah, yeah, yeah. because they've been together since they were little. It's no different. It's just biologically they happen to be cousins. And they just <coughs> they grew up that way. And there's this this sense of communal understanding, which I think is a beautiful thing, not yeah. just family connection, but it gives you that understanding <coughs> of the world doesn't just revolve around you. However, the opposite is true. There yeah. can become this sense of obligation to the family and your yeah. your individual identity gets can get crushed. Yeah. So they all they all have pros and cons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and mo sincerely, for me, the most important thing my my parents ever taught me, my my dad taught me, was the value of truth, the value of honesty, yeah. and not, not lying. Mm -hmm. the, the only time my dad was a fun, happy dad to be around, and the only time that my dad ever seriously like said, "Come up here," and was sitting behind his desk in his office room. And said, are you a liar? Because he caught me in a straight up lie that mm -hmm. I had done to get something I want. Mm -hmm. And just told me, liars lie. You can never trust a liar. And my son is not a liar. If you are, I'll never trust you with anything. And it was, I was 15. Never forgot it. It's one of the big reasons I have such a deep value for mm -hmm. truth. Which I think is a pretty great value to have instilled yeah, in me, right. you know? Um, yeah. So you should want people to tell the truth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that 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 has interacted with everything. The way I treat people on a, a whole bunch of levels, as well as the fear of God. Whenever he, he was mad at me, yeah. Because <laughs> my dad would say things like, "I'd be screwing around in the back," and he wouldn't say, "You'd be screwing." Stop. You, who, you're screwing. I was screwing in the back in the car. Oh. My dad always let me screw in the back. That's good. Yeah, like, I, like all kids do. It's good yeah, parenting. Screw I mean, in the back. Be open. Just let him screw in the back. <laughs> and uh, he'd be driving the car, and if I was screwing in the back, uh, rather <laughs> than say, down. rather than say, "Hey, Ricky, stop it," he'd say, "If you don't stop that, I'm going to pull over and rip your heart out through your throat." <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> How would you like me to go back there and take your leg and rip it off you and beat you to death with it? I'll stop that. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you to death with a blunt object. <laughs> with your own severed leg. <coughs> uh, well, this was fine. It was. It, it seemed like it was more for it was, kids. It was very broad. Very broad. And general, simplistic. Simplistic. Obviously, um, there's just like you can't say specifically in America how no. parents parent because it varies based off region it varies based off household yeah. this household parents different than that has sold down there absolutely but uh, some of the stuff obviously was true um, and I mean most of it was probably true but you can't just label it in general no and you also, can't I think they said in there that Indian parents don't reprimand their kids which I I don't think is true There's in the slightest not even remotely every literally every Indian ever talked to talks about how they were slapped or hit with objects growing up. <laughs> a, a sandal? Yeah, sandal, belt, something. Yep. Just pretty standard fare. And we've seen in the films that depict it that like slapping is almost a hobby, a sport that they do. <laughs> uh, who, who could do the best slapping? Yeah, uh, don't go into a slapping competition with an Indian. Yeah, no, definitely You won't not. lose. <laughs> Look <laughs> <laughs>